Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be doing a video where we are checking to see how much the player type actually matters in NHL 22. Just to kind of summarize, what I am doing in this video is I am taking a 99 overall player, 99 for every single attribute, and on top of that, they will have the same X factor and abilities. The only thing that I'm going to be changing is going to be the player type and i also put him on carolina and made sure that there was plus five line chemistry every single time there was a few times that i started up the franchise mode and you know had to restart it because i guess the coach or something whatever it was it gave plus three line chemistry so i wanted it to be consistent and yeah i wanted the plus five so tried to make it as static and consistent as possible also, originally, I was only going to do one season per player type, and I later decided to change that. So what I ended up doing is just turning off autosave after getting it uh, all prepared for the one player type, and then I would simulate the year, back out of it, come back in, do the year again, and yeah, that was how I proceeded with this video. So let's hop into the footage and find out just how much player type actually matters in NHL 22. So for the first player type, I made Joe NHL an enforcer, a 99 overall enforcer with X factor and all the abilities he could possibly have. Not a great year. Carolina finishes fifth in the Metro. We only get 56 points out of Joseph and they didn't make the playoffs. So I'm not sure why I'm showing that, but I'm commentating over it now. So it's going to be left in. The Hurricanes finished 12th in the entire league the second year. A bit more success this time. 70 points from Joe NHL, almost the most on the team. Only four playoff games, but four points. So point a game in the playoffs. He gets the Calder this time around, but they were swept by the Pity Pens in round one. And yeah, I kind of just show you guys every time that it's a plus five and that he is still, in fact, an enforcer. Carolina Hurricanes finished pretty well this year with 104 points. Joe NHL putting up 70 again and 20 playoff games with 14 points. The Hurricanes would go on to win the Stanley Cup. Yeah. What a thing of beauty. They swept Colorado in the finals too. And with that, we are done with the enforcer and we are on to Joe NHL, the grinder. So the first year they finished fifth in the Metro with 90 points, would miss the playoffs. Joe NHL would lead the team with 74 points. And on top of that, he won the Calder. So good for you. Second year, still a grinder, believe it or not. They'd finish second in the league with 108 points. And Joe NHL puts up 83, his first point a game season right there. He also had 25 playoff games with 21 points, was a plus seven, but they would not win the Stanley Cup. Unfortunately, they would lose to the Golden Knights in the Stanley Cup Finals, taking six games. This year, the Hurricanes finished sixth in the entire league, just shy of 100 points. Joe NHL puts up 77. And on top of that, I'm just kind of showing some of the other stats in case anyone wants to see those. But 14 playoff games, 21 points. A good playoff showing from Joe NHL who wins another Calder. But unfortunately, the Capitals got the better of them in round number two. And now it is time for Playmaker Joe NHL. Second in the league. This is the best first season we have seen from a player type. 113 points. So he absolutely slayed this year. Only five playoff games, however, and was a dash three, getting three points in those five games. He did manage to get the Art Ross, the Hart, the Calder, and the Ted Lindsay, however. And the Hurricanes would be deleted by the Columbus Blue Jackets in round one, taking only five games. This is your number two now of the Playmaker, and they finish first in the league. President's Trophy winners, 93 points from Joe NHL this time around. Another not so great playoff performance though, seven games and four points. This time it was the New York Rangers getting rid of Carolina's playoff hopes. It took seven games and it was round number one. Now the final year of Joe NHL as a playmaker, the Carolina Hurricanes finished third in the league and Joe NHL finishes second on the team in points with 90. Sebastian Aho, the only player with more. Another disappointing playoff run with only five games, but a Calder trophy once again for Joe NHL. Florida would beat them in five games, and once again, that was round one. Now we are into the power forward Joe NHL, and they convincingly win the President's Trophy in year one with 122 points. Joe NHL having a stellar first year as well, but once again, the playoffs just aren't it. Three points in six playoff games. 
He did manage to win a bunch of trophies, and I'm not sure what happened to the playoff tree this year, but they got deleted in the first round anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I guess the footage just kind of disappeared like a fart in the wind. Anyway, they win the President's Trophy again in year two with him as a power forward. This time, he gets 80 points. Didn't crack 100 this time. He was point a game in the playoffs, but only 10 games, and the Columbus Blue Jackets take out the Carolina Hurricanes in round number two. Now, the final year for the power forward, they finish sixth in the league, 102 points. Joe NHL puts up 89, and he had 45 goals. What a beauty. Seven points in five playoff games, but once again, five playoff games, first round exit. Yeah, Calder goes to Joe NHL again, but Tampa Bay would delete the Hurricanes in round one. Now it is time for the sniper. Joseph NHL, the absolute goal scorer. They finished fifth in the league, but Joe NHL puts up 39 goals this time. So he actually scored more as a power forward. But anyway, it's only year one here as a sniper. 10 playoff games with 11 points. Gets the Calder again. The Rangers rinse them in round number two, the conference semifinals, taking only five games. The second year as a sniper, they finished second in the league with 105 points. Toronto absolutely ran away with that season. He got 87 total on the year, 26 games played and 25 points, but they still couldn't get it done. They lost in seven to the Colorado Avalanche. The Stanley Cup Finals, that's gotta hurt. In the final year of the Sniper, the Carolina Hurricanes finish ninth in the league. We get 77 points from Joe NHL and 19 playoff games with 22 points and a plus 14. He wins the Calder, but in the Conference Finals, the Pittsburgh Penguins would destroy the Carolina Hurricanes in just five games. And now it is time for the final player type, the two-way forward. And in the first year, the Canes finish eighth in the league. Joe NHL leads the team with 76 points. We get five playoff games and five points. Another Calder for Joe, but a first round exit at the hands of the Tampa Bay Lightning taking five games. Year number two as a two-way forward, Carolina finishes seventh in the league, 102 points. We get 95 points from Joe NHL, much better than last year. 27 playoff games and 35 points with a plus 20, but they lost in seven games in the Stanley Cup Finals again to the Edmonton Oilers. That is heartbreaking. The final year of the final player type and they don't make the playoffs. Yeah, it do be like that sometimes, but he did get 101 points, so still a good year for him and a couple more trophies to boot. Okay, so here are the final statistics that I hopefully did not butcher, but yeah. So the Enforcer did not even hit 200 points, um, but had 24 playoff games, which is more than the Playmaker and the Power Forward, but that could just be, you know, luck of the sim. The Grinder ended up having 39 playoff games and had the most points in those games as well. But I mean, the two-way forward played seven less playoff games and had two less points, so did pretty good as well. So make with this what you will, but yeah, that was it. So thank you for watching, guys, and I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you soon.